estate to real estate. It's Money Matters with Dina. Today, our, our panel of experts are uh, Joel and Corvaya. Gosh, and I'm having a hard time with that, but I think I said it right. I think you're getting very close. All right. Um, He's our our, uh, real estate expert who has done a lot of research in this field. And we have Fred said from Keller Williams, who's our uh, real estate expert. Right now, the majority of the loans out there are 45%. If you can be a uh, a 45% or lower uh, debt ratio, you can typically qualify us when you meet all of the the other uh, qualifications. But Joel, you you said 43% a second ago. And I know starting January, that's going to be the new number. Is that correct? That's correct under the new QM rules. And that doesn't mean that every loan has to be at 43%, but to get what we call safe harbor protection, protect lenders from lawsuits from borrowers, and to have loans that the government agencies will actually buy, you have to stick to the 43%. So that's a significant change. So Fred, let me bring you in here for a minute. In, in the real estate industry, I mean, you're out there, you're on the streets every day, you're oh, yeah. talking to consumers, you're, you're doing the, the day-to-day transactions. How do you think all of these changes are gonna affect the real estate market? It's a great question. I think in the short run, in the, let's say the beginning of 2014, the main thing that uh, both of you had mentioned, especially with Joel and the regulations, is that less people will qualify to buy a home. So my immediate reaction is the individuals out there that are thinking about buying a home in the near future that are going to put a low down payment that might have some debt, they're on that borderline as it is. So when they reduce that debt to income ratio from 45 to 43, that can fully knock them out of the market. So that's why I've been pushing so hard with our our clientele that if you're serious about buying a home right now in the near future, within six months, do it now towards the end of 2013 because you potentially won't be able to come January 1st, 2014. So that's a big concern for me, who deals with buyers on a daily basis in Orange County. 